Hello, um, welcome to part three of um, the T fifty four one build review. It'll be the last part. Part after that would be the final reveal. Um, so I've built the um, turret. It's still sort of in pieces now for painting reasons. Um, but it's all primed. Everything's primed now. I only show. Um, the stuff that's to do with the turret and any bits that you haven't seen already. Um, but uh, so you've got the the lower half of the turret, uh, a few little pieces in there, um, bit of you know, electronics and the gear for turning the turret. Um, there's that one there. Oh, well, that's coming out on thing. Not really much on the bottom other than the, the seats. You have the upper half. Um, you've got other bits of electrics in there. Um, you've got a round of ammunition. You've got the sights um, and that sort of thing. You have the piece that go in this hole here. Um, not much on the bottom there. Um, this hatch is still workable. Well, it was before it painted. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to leave that, um, glue that down, or have that suspended yet. I'm not quite sure. Um, but this this hatch I had to glue because of there's some photo etch there, and I thought maybe if it's leave it workable it might get flimsy and break um, but yeah that's that one um, you have the gun and the gun breech goes that way around might have to um, sign that back a bit where it's the paint's pulled um, yeah fairly detailed Gun breach, there's even a round in there, you probably won't be able to see it in the breach ready to be fired. Uh, the gun itself has got some nice um, cast textures that I'm noticing a seam line still, but I might have to sand back and paint again. Um, but yeah, it, it looks good. Uh, all went together just like the other parts. Um, you have um, a rack of ammunition. Uh, it's only got two rounds in it for the moment. I've put them in so the rack is square and that sort of thing. Um, the others are left loose for painting. Uh, that goes in the back of the lower half. Um, you have the machine gun. And get it out. The machine gun to go on the side of the uh, gun, the main gun. Um, it's part of the, the um, you know, what, I've forgotten the word, what it's called now, but it goes on the side there. Probably points through over the turret or the, the hole on the side. Yeah, it probably pokes through the the breach. Um, through the mantlet, that's what I was looking for. And then you have the uh, machine gun for the um, top of the turret. Um, that is like a kit in itself. <coughs> Numerous bits of photo etch and loads of little tiny bits of plastic. Bit of a pain in the ass that one, but I will let them. Um, you have different ammunitions, for example, you've got a really pointy one and a less pointy one. <laughs> um, you have the ring on top of the, for on top of the turret for when the machine go, goes into. You have a bit of storage, 
goes on the back of the turret. It's got um, a photo etch um, strap for the fair weather, no, not fair weather, adverse weather cover for the driver's hatch. Um, and lastly, you have the um, towing cable, which I'm a bit annoyed about because in the instructions they show it bending around and also all that, um, but they give you a perfectly straight plastic towing cable. There's no cable in there to make your own. Um, it is quite bendy, so I don't know whether to just leave them off or try and warm it up and bend it round. I might try one if it goes well. That's great, if not, I'll just leave it off. A um, couple of things that I forgot to mention um, in the last part that I didn't like about the kit um, were the fact that um, although the, there's no real bad um, ejector pin marks or ones that are in bad places, there are lots of um, badly placed um, attachment points. Um, for example, on the tracks, you've got, well, on some of them you've got four, some of them you've got five. Makes them very tedious to clean up, but you kind of expect that with tracks. A lot of kits are like that. Um, but more so on other parts of the kit. For example, on, t on this top half of the turret where you've got the handles, each one of these have got like... Um, five or six or seven attachment points um, makes them very hard to get them off the sprue safely without breaking them. I did manage to get them off without breaking um, but makes them even harder to clean up. I, I'm not very good at that at the best of times. I did my best and from a distance they don't look too bad but you look up close to them um, and you can see all those they're a bit rough um, but yeah that's that's that um, yeah so that's everything I think I've meant to mention last time um, but overall it's a good kit it's got its bad points but all kits do um, but just in case you wanted to know that's the I've got a bit of overs, primer over spray but that's the paint scheme that I'm going to go with. It's the most um, interesting out of all the ones you get. Um, they're all like either that or green. I mean you got that one, you've got a uh, sort of whitewashed one. Um, and that one there. And then you've got the one in the front which is just green. Um, like I said, I'm going to do that tritonal one, but possibly I might just nick some of the um, decals off the others just to give it a bit more interest. Um, so now I'm going to paint the interior, um, mask all that off, and then start painting the exterior. Uh, like I say, I primed, primed it. Um, it's about a day old. Well, primer's been on for about a day. I'll probably leave it another day and then start painting. Um, but yeah, that's everything built. Um, so the next video will be the uh, final reveal where you see it all built up and the way it should. I've got my clear styrene rods through. I think I've chose one that's a bit too thick as you can see, um, but I didn't want to, didn't want one too thin in case it was too flimsy. Um, I did something with a clear styrene rod a while back, and I got it and it was too flimsy and it was supporting a plane, which didn't turn out very too, too well, so I didn't show it on this channel. Um, but yeah, it was too flimsy, so I've gone with this. Give it a bit more strength, um, but it's going 
going to show up more basically, but it's still better than having a normal styro rod where you can see it or it's just black or something. So yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, so that's everything. Um, next next video will be the final reveal. Hope you like the the um, videos. Um, if you've got any questions about this particular kit or anything else that you want to ask, just leave a comment. Um, I'll always try to um, answer it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.